Yeah, they, they, if how do they not sound defensive? That's what you're. I think you're getting at. Yeah, right. And I and and that's what Alex Sink sounded defensive in those ads. Uh, you could argue though that those were effective ads because David's right. David's right about the polling. We tested the polling. We did a generic congressional candidate, a Democrat who says that they want to fix health care versus a Republican that says that they want to repeal it. And the Democratic candidate on that message is at 48. The Republican candidate on that message is at 47 with, as David noted, with the independents, it, it, it uh, tips toward the Democrats there. So there is a message there that is effective, but how do they do it without sounding uh, uh, as if they're defensive? How do they do it as almost uh, something to be proud of? And I think that that's, you know, in the ideal world that David described uh, in talking about trying to get Democrats motivated to the polls, you wouldn't have the candidates themselves say, be afraid of President Obama, not right. wanting him near. I, you know, I kind of think all of those dances that, uh, yeah, predictable dances, I, we saw it with Republicans in 06, with Bush, we saw it with Democrats, uh, with Clinton in 98. I happen to think it's mistake. You know, because if you if you out, if you're a Democrat and you go out there and, and say, oh, man, health care, it, it scares me. I don't want President Obama around. Right. And the voters going to know you're full of it. Yeah.